let's go back to Ar Rahman and back to the woman that we were talking about where the Prophet is, is, is expressing how she's how the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more than with this mother finally finding her son and then nursing him and taking care of him. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is all encompassing and it's overflowing kind of mercy. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, if you're young or if you're old, if you're somebody who's rich or poor, that Allah's mercy is for everybody, believer or non-believer. And this, oh, this one always gets me, subhanAllah. This idea that even somebody who does not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rejects Allah altogether, is still receiving Allah's mercy by the very mere fact that they wake up every morning and are able to breathe <laughs> the next day. It's not like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is cutting that off just because they don't believe in him. He's still providing. And the hope is, until your very last breath, there is the door of tawbah, right? Of repentance is open. Also, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes himself, I'm going to read to you the translation, when he describes himself in the Quran, in terms of mercy, he says, and when those of you come to know, when those of you who believe in our verses say, peace upon you, your Lord has decreed upon himself mercy, that any of you who does wrong out of ignorance and then repents after that and corrects himself, indeed he is forgiving and merciful. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. We'll end in just a minute here. The idea here of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, I have written upon myself mercy, meaning that he's absolutely guaranteeing that he is somebody who's going to be merciful with you regardless of whether you sin or don't sin, of whether you're somebody who's close or whether you're far. This concept of mercy is something that brings people so much closer. 